Hi everybody. If you're wondering why I am taking this approach, there is a reason. Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I am leaving a message for everyone who thinks you are so physically imperfect. Now, I want to say to you, stop apologizing for how you think you look or how you wish you could look. Stop apologizing for what you think your flaws are. Now, I have been a woman of size since I was a very, very young woman in high school. I have never known what it felt like to be slender as an adult. And I have starved, I have been broke, without a pot or a window, lived in the car, wasn't eaten, and still could not break certain barriers or certain plateaus. And finally, when I realized after walking three to six miles a day and riding bikes and swimming and, and barely eating and eating salads and just drinking water, 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 water all day long and doing everything I could do to get this stuff off, I finally said, you know what? I am what I am, it is what it is, and I thank God that I am healthy and I will do my best with what I have and work it. Do you hear me? Now, this is what I wanna share with you. A lot of us go through lives with other people. This is kind of a continuation or segue from the other tape. Laying up treasures Mm -hmm. Yeah, where moth doth corrupt. I'm going to read that once again because I read it in the other one. But I want you to hear why I'm saying this. This, this really goes deep. This is Matthew 6, verse 19. I'm just going to read that one. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and, moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Do you know people will steal your joy? They will make you feel like one big walking catastrophe when they get through ripping you down, tearing you apart. You have got to get to the point where you say you will get over it and I will get over you. So, you know how they say, um, if you uh, if you don't like it, let the doorknob hit you with a good Lord split you. And I tell you, you have to stop allowing people to manipulate you and run over you. People will do it if you let them. If they think they can get, it. there are some people who are so manipulative. By nature, and if they think they can play you like a violin or play you like a fiddle, oh baby, they'll play you. They'll play a tune that'll have you dancing, hopping, skipping, jumping. What do you want, baby? How long do you want it, baby? And 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 and, and how do you want me to serve it? Yeah, and you might be feeling this small. But you're putting on this act because you want your so-called better half to love you, to like you, and maybe even one day marry you. They're not going to marry you because they don't think anything of you. They already can sniff out the fact that you are desperate. You're desperate for someone to love you and you will do anything. You will put all your bags into that one person's uh, basket. Put all your life, your future, your chances, your opportunities, your potential, and you lay it at their feet like there's some kind of a, of a demigod to be worshipped. Please. And then what they'll do is turn around and in public call you a B-I-T-C. Yeah. 
and you'll sit there and wilt like a little flower and you won't rise up and say anything because you want him to love you. Yeah, he might even call you a fat B.I.T. Whoa! And his friends, <laughs> and you're feeling like that small. And you're bowing to him. And you're giving homage to him. And he's treating you worse and worse, like the dirt under his feet. And trust me, baby, one day you keep hanging in there. Oh, yeah, he's going to have other women. He's going to have other women. Because he knows he can get away. And on top of that, he doesn't have to work. You'll do that. Because a piece of man for you is better than no man at all. And that is not a man. But it's got a ding-a-ling. It wears pants. And it barks, quacks, waddles, and looks like a doggone man. So you think you got one. And you have nothing but a ball and chain around your neck. And the ball and chain is full of crap. And you're going for it. Hook, line, and sinker, baby. And they got you bamboozled. Oh, yeah, buddy. Because when they're screwing you, they're telling you how good it is. They're telling you how much you mean to them, how much you they, they need you. And you're putting all your treasures, you're laying up all your everything in you, everything that you value, you're laying at their feet. They can do with what they want. You let them drive your car that you're paying the bill on. You let them use up your gas. Then you'll get a little attitude because they didn't take your car to get washed or put gas in the tank knowing you have to go to work the next day and probably and you this is what you already kind of know you know they probably went around the corner and got their little other lover and rode them around and sported them in your car at your gas's expense but you can't lose the dum dum because you think that you have nothing to get a man with. You have bought the lies that they've been telling you. How ugly you look, how fat you are, how skinny you are, how shapeless you are, how sorry you look. Why you have so many freckles on your face? Why your nose have to be so, so funny? Why you See, that's why you can't get nobody. You better be glad you got me. I mean, I, I'm, I, I care enough for you to, to, uh, to hang with you, but you know, you know, don't cross the line now. That's not a catch. That's a rut. That's what you call a boil. You need to prick it, bust it, and keep on stepping. That ain't nothing valuable in your life but another weight to weigh you down with. Oh, okay. Now, I'm not upset, but it hurts me to see some of you women so desperate, and some of you men are doing the same thing. You have a little cutie pie. You think she's all that and a bag of chips, and she thinks she knows she's all that and a bag of chips. And you better thank the, the, the ground you walk on for having such a catch as she. And she's always got her hand out and she always needs help paying her bills. She always needs a new pair of shoes. Mama needs a new suit, baby. And when they're around their friends, you're sitting with her because she demands that you be with her at all times. But she's not talking to you. Her friends aren't talking to you. You might as well be a bump on the law. And when she sees that you're so desperate to have her, she mistreats you and disrespects you in public. And her friends laugh at you. But then when you walk away with your feelings hurt and your tail tucked between your legs and your head hung down, she knows that, you know, she doesn't want to give up a good thing because sugar daddy still got a lot of sugar to give up. So she goes and she butters you up and tells you a bunch of nonsense and makes sure that she sweetens the pot with the family jewels. 
and she's whispering nothings. I'm not even going to call them sweet nothings. Nothings in your ear. So you can fall for another bunch of her lies. And she's playing you. Playing you. And your friends are saying, man, cut that loose. Your, your mother, your father, your sisters, your brothers are telling you, man, that's bad news. She's going to get you hurt. Your nose is so wide open, you can't even see your feet. You play. She's playing you, baby. She's got you whooped. You know what I mean when I say that. I ain't going to say that on this Christian station. I'm not going to say it publicly. But you know what I mean. starts with a P. She got you whooped. And you're okay with it because you don't think you'll ever find anything better. Well, baby, there's something called genuine love. And the love may not come in the, the way you think it's supposed to come. You may have to get a, or, you know, you may not get exactly what you want. But baby, if you want somebody to love and cherish you and give you the highest of respect, you better quit looking for looks. I'm telling you, that's not the stuff you're supposed to treasure. And quit casting your pearls before swine. Okay. Mother has lectured for the night with Pat's two cents. And I, I'm going to leave you alone because you're going to do what you want to do anyway. But I hope and pray that God, in the name of Jesus, that God opens your eyes, you young, dumb men that are desperate for a pretty little something, something. And I pray for you desperate women, especially you women of size, who are looking and scratching and digging for somebody, anybody, anything to love you. That ain't love. And I pray God opens your eyes to the fact that you're being chewed up and spit out and that it sours in your mouth. Now, both y'all get your heads up out of your behinds and see life for what it is and appreciate who you are. Value yourselves and ask God to help you love yourselves so that you will find someone who truly loves you. God bless you.